Planning your outfits for the week helps to reduce decision fatigue, stress, stops you from being late, and puts you in a good headspace for the beginning of the week. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Elizabeth May and I make fashion videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some really valuable tips on how to plan your outfits for the week. I've got so much good stuff to share with you. So make sure you stick around to the end because it's gonna be value packed today. The last thing I'm gonna do in this video is plan an entire outfit from beginning to end with you to show you the process that I go through when I'm planning my outfit. Before I get started on the main tips, I'm gonna start with a little side tip. If you want to start planning your outfits properly, you have to make sure that your cupboards are organized first. Organized wardrobes means it's going to be so much easier for you to plan. I'm not going to dive deep into organization today. I just wanted to mention that. But if you'd like to see a video on how I organize my wardrobe, how I organize my accessories and my shoes, I'm a bit of an organized freak. I love it so much. So comment below if that's something that you might want to see in the future and I'll have something organized. All right, so let's get started with my top tips on how to plan your outfits for the week. Okay, tip number one, before anything else, check your weather app and check your calendar. Those are the two things you need to do before planning anything. Pretty basic, just open up the weather app, know what the weather's gonna be like for the week, open up your calendar, know what's in your calendar for the week, and then you can get started with your planning. Tip number two is to use Pinterest. Pinterest is the best. It is my favorite. I'm sure a lot of you are already using it. If you haven't, then give it a go. It really is a great platform to use when trying to get inspiration for almost anything. So when I'm planning my outfits for the week, I usually grab my laptop, chuck it on my bed, play some music and open up Pinterest. I'll have my weather app and my calendar open on my phone just in case I need to double check them as well. And then I start typing things into Pinterest of things that that maybe I want to wear for the week or I go onto my boards that I currently have and just kind of scroll through and see if there's any outfits that kind of grab my attention and get me excited. You can take your organization one step further by creating Pinterest boards. You can create boards for certain weather conditions, certain occasions that you might have or for different items of your favorite clothing. If Pinterest isn't your jam, you can save pictures from Instagram into your phone or you can just screenshot images you like and pop them into folders in your phone. Having a pool of inspiration is key first step to planning your outfits for the Week. It'll make things go a lot more smoothly. So let's set the scene. It's Sunday night, you're in your bedroom, you've got your music playing, you've got your laptop out, got your Pinterest board up, you've checked the weather for the week and your calendar. Maybe you have a glass of wine or maybe you are a grandma like me and you have a cup of tea. Now you are ready to start planning your outfits for the week with tip number three. So tip number three is to open your wardrobe and start trying things on. Start grabbing pieces from your wardrobe, putting outfits together and I highly recommend to try them on. Often we put outfits together and until we see them on we like so make sure you try them on if you're really not sure because it really does help and you will eliminate the possibility of not loving the outfit when you first try it on in the morning. A little bonus tip for you if you are super organized, if you love the outfit that you're trying on, snap a quick picture of yourself in the mirror and pop it into a folder in your phone called My Outfits. You can refer back to this in the future. So you're getting all your outfits out and now what do you do with them? My tip number four is if you have spare room in your house, you can get a spare clothes rack and pop it somewhere and pop your outfits that you've planned for the week hanging up and ready to go. If you don't have room for this, then that's fine. Maybe you can write all the outfits down in the notes section on your phone, or maybe on a piece of paper or a notepad next to your bed, whatever is right for you. Or if you already have spare room in your wardrobe, kudos to you if you do, you can hang all your outfits of the week to one side. And if you don't have all your outfits hanging up for the week prior to the week, just make sure you at least hang them up the night before. This does really help. I recommend you go one step further and grab your socks and your underwear as well and just hang them over the hangers ready to go. You could basically get dressed in the morning with your eyes still closed. Making things ever so slightly easier for ourselves in the morning reduces decision fatigue. And really we can do with having to make less decisions in the morning while we're Still asleep. So my tip number five is to make sure that you know what accessories you're going to be wearing as well and put them out the night before. When planning your outfits, it's really important to go into as much detail as possible so you don't have to think about it at all. Tip number six, I love this tip, is to plan around your hair washing schedule. Let's be real, our hair cannot be clean all the time. We can't be cleaning it every night 
It's just not great for our hair. So I recommend you find your dirty hairstyle look. And that is whichever way your hair looks best when it's dirty. I can assure you, you do have a hairstyle that looks okay when your hair's dirty. Maybe it's braids, maybe it's a low ponytail, maybe it's a high messy bun or a plait. For me, it's usually a middle part with my hair brushed down and a really low bun at the bottom. Of course, a little bit of dry shampoo always helps. And a beautiful pair of earrings will deter from the fact that your hair is dirty. So the next thing you need to know about your hair is what kind of outfits you can and cannot wear when your hair is that way. So for me, when my hair is in like a low bun, I can't wear things that are really big and bulky at the top and have like flouncy shoulders. It just kind of looks like I've like, I'm really weirdly proportioned and makes me look like I have a pea head. So when I'm planning my outfits for the week, I always think about my hair, when it's likely to be dirty and when I'm likely to be able to wash it. Now for the sake of the video, I'm going to plan Monday's outfit with you and I'm gonna talk you through how I plan it. So firstly, I get my phone and I look up the weather and my calendar. So it's gonna be 23 tomorrow and tomorrow I am at the office for work. I do a bit of contract work for a social media management agency called Born Social. So I can dress kind of casually because I don't have any meetings and I wanna be comfortable. I'm also meeting up with a friend after work for dinner. So I want to make sure I'm wearing something that is like dinner appropriate. We are going for Italian. So that is like red flag, red flag. Don't wear high-waisted jeans. No one wants to wear high-waisted jeans going out for Italian. I need room for my tiramisu. All right, so I'm going to go to my bedroom now and open up my wardrobe and get planning. So this is my wardrobe. That's Alex's side. This is my side over here. I do have a few other things in another room, a couple of shoes and some jackets and stuff. What I've got on this side of me is the bed with my laptop out and it's got Pinterest up. I decided that tomorrow I think I want to wear these cream high waist trousers. They're actually like elasticated here. So they're not like jeans. They're not tight. They are so comfy and they look really cool on and so i think that'd be great for sitting at the office casual but not too dressy and then that'd be great for going out for dinner so i searched the term on pinterest cream high waist pleat trousers outfit seems like a long search term but you've got to be quite specific if you have a specific item and then i found this cute image here that i really like i clicked into it and then if i scroll down i can see images that are really similar to that there's a lot of things that i like in here giving me some good inspo I was actually thinking, I was wondering whether I could get away with wearing my black and white blazer on top of these. I've actually never worn them together before. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to look. So I think I might have to try it on. What I'm thinking is if I do wear these, I'd want to wear a black, just a plain black t-shirt and then like black shoes so that it all kind of like pulls together. That is what I'm kind of thinking. Probably some gold accessories. I'll have my black handbag. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try that on first. That's gonna be my first plan. And then if it works, I will get accessories. If it doesn't, then I'll have to think of something else. <laughs> okay, so I've got a black tee in here. I'm gonna try this on and I'm gonna come back in and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have a little mirror in my wardrobe. I actually really like this. I'm vibing it quite a lot. I don't mind the cream and the white. It's not too much, I think, because I put the black on with it. It kind of gets away with it and it's not too much white. I'm wearing my little Senso slides. Love the square top. I just think they're really nice for work. And then I've got this necklace on as well and my pearls still from the video. So I could probably just, yeah, you know, I could probably just wear that. I like that. Yeah. All in all, I am pleased with the look. I think it's really good for work. And then really nice to have dinner with my friends after. These trousers are 
albeit high-waisted, they are just like elasticated and so comfy. They're the best ever. I'm gonna link them below. I got them off Amazon actually from the drop. So then I think this will look nice if I take off my blazer. Let me just show you. Yeah, I mean, a black t-shirt, high-waisted pants. It's cool. So guys, that is what I do to plan my outfits for the week. I go usually Monday to Friday. If I'm having a really busy week, I much prefer to have it all out and ready to go. Some of my weeks are a bit more quiet, so I might just plan two or three outfits or even just the night before if I haven't been as organized. Hanging it all out, including all your underwear and your jewelry is so necessary. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it. I'll see you next week. Happy styling.